had a 21 before uh, originally powered it with um, a couple of uh, 90 horsepower etex and um, my wife and I had a good look around and uh, we pursued a number of different boat brands just to see uh, you know what we could find and um, we ended up back with a 23 contender um, main reasons being the handling and um, the space out the front of the boat for fishing so we decided to go twin 200 etex um, small block configuration engines we also make a 200 ho um, the etec is a um, very low maintenance uh, direct injected engine um, comes with a 300 hours three years no maintenance um, schedule with it and um, we like the two-stroke power um, good hole shot good acceleration where we need it and um, overall we're very very uh, satisfied with um, the 200 small block ETEC. Um, we ran a couple of NSS uh, 12s in our last boat um, made by Simrad very good reliable units and um, really uh, nice screen clarity um, we've upgraded um, this is one of the new 16 inch touchscreen uh, um, actually prototype versions of the uh, new Simrad that are coming out I'm fortunate enough to have a wife that works for Simrad so um, we've had a good look around at all of our options and got the good old flat screen 16 inch we're running fusion uh, stereo got all the all the pimp um, side of things we've got uh, you know some decent speakers and a sub in the in the boat as well as an amp so a bit of tunes for when the bad weather's around um, we're running an RX35 Simrad radio that's integrated into the network so that actually talks to everything that's on this dashboard the good old uh, icon controls by Evernood um, this is just fly-by-wire controls that we make so you can synchronize your engines together um, you can increase and decrease RPM at the touch of a button um, the screens run by a uh, OP40 which makes it nice that uh, the old school boys like me can still use a panel as opposed to using the touch screen where my missus prefers to use um, and then uh, just the anchor windlass cam uh, standard with the boat and then obviously the switch panels got a whole lot of stuff in there but the main things that we were after were fresh water salt water and then uh, we've had a bit of a hand with our friends from uh, from Edgewater with a few of the fit outs got the old uh, in deck uh, live bait tank pump and uh, and live well set up got a few yakkers in there at the moment really big size you can actually keep a decent sized snapper alive in there if you want to get good pictures of it um, very happy with that plenty of water capacity to keep a lot of fish alive in so I've got a nice little walk through here which is a bit different to what we had on our 21 um, we do like a bit of a swim and um, this little ladder on the side here helps us to be able to do that if we did get a yellow fin probably bluefin tuna you could at least bring it in over this corner if you had to okay so we've got a fold away seat which is a nice feature that we didn't have in the older boat um, very simple little pin setup underneath there we got the sub a couple of 260 watt fusion speakers sets out the tunes for a nice uh, quiet day there's no good fishing we've got uh, salt and fresh water um, which is a nice thing to have and um, the good old pen 625 uh, fathom master very nice handy swivel system on it so you can get it out of the way um, probably one of the better ones I reckon on the market I've had this one for a few years now uh, plenty of rod storage as you can see Mick we've got four rod holders here at the uh, back bench rest we've got another four up on the top we've got three along the side of the console so we've got the old uh, fusion controller up the front here give it a bit of a crank up see what she sounds like we've got a NSS 12 up the front here um, again Simrad unit um, integrated with uh, the rest of the electronics we're running chirp um, one kilowatt wet box as well as a uh, structure scan transducer radar um, autopilot you know it mate we've got it in the boat so this yeah talks directly to the um, front and uh, rear unit so we can control it from the OP40 box up at the front of the dash or we can come down here it's a touchscreen unit and uh, we can you know zoom in and out on our platform do what you want to do pretty handy features um, these touchscreen units do some simple things like marking waypoints at the click of a finger 
um, you can run through all of your echo options your temperature graphs if you want to run them on your um, on your sounder your depth lines all at the click of a finger so missus likes the old touch screen I like to control it from the front from the OP40 um, but obviously really nice when you're fishing up at the front of a center console boat to have a sounder up the front of the boat